Two. All right, here we are, Magic Girl. We finally figured out how to get some magic working on this machine, and I want to give a big shout out to Chris Wright. Um, there's a Magic Girl Facebook forum where all the owners are talking, so that's why there's like not much going on on Pinside. Um, but here's, here's what we found out. We found out how to make the ball levitate. So we're going to show you how that works. But first, I think I realized how I got the ball to levitate on mine is I switched out the owl for the magic spot. Let me show you guys what I did. So this used to be over here on this ramp. See that? Get that, Brenda? And I replaced it with the magic spot. I feel like that, ooh, that is why all, you're leaning on the button, Brenda. You're leaning on the, leaning on the flipper button. Um, this is how John had it originally. Now, if you guys go back and look at the prototype, the ramp like looped all the way around up to here. Like the magic spot was like up there. Clearly, clearly, they changed things geometrically at American Pinball to get it to work. Um, but I'm not going to go over any other details other than the magic spot, and we're going to show you guys how this guy works. This is the levitating ball. All right? Now, before I show you guys how it works, um, I want to explain, well, you know what? Let me show you first, and then I'll explain to you what John had on the prototype, which I think you're going to need on this one if you want to actually get the ball to levitate during gameplay. But let me, let me start her up. John designed this on the prototype. There was two holes here. You can actually see it on the prototype play field. And there was like, there was a ramp that goes up in there. So it's like almost like a guide that maybe made it go higher. Because that ball definitely needs another like half an inch to get up inside that. Battery's low. It needs to get up inside that chamber. Um, so I don't know if, I don't know if the, um, if the magnetic force of that chamber can be increased. Um, or maybe if we drop the chamber down a little bit, it looks like there's a lot of room. If it's a little bit sits a little bit lower, it'll grab that ball up. But it works, which is good news because we can always add maybe a ramp. We can add some stuff to make that stuff more functional. Um, the good news is, is it levitated? Like we saw it, it just doesn't happen in gameplay, which is the problem with everything with Magic Girl right now. But how how beautiful is the magic spot? Look. This is the magic spot. You can't tell what's gonna happen, and then it falls down. Whee! That's it. That's what twenty. That's what twenty-three thousand dollars down the drain sounds like. No, no, no. I love it. This machine's great. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, something else we're changing is we're adding green. We're gonna add lighted green buttons here, 
to the light up green, and then we're gonna change his red out for purple. Because red is ugly. There's no red on this entire machine. I don't know why this is red. Um, that's it. We saw some levitation. Enjoy your Sunday. We'll see you guys when we figure something else out. Later.